Peterson. I'm Peter Tomasi. All right, awesome guys. All right, my first question um, was the post rebirth suit just one person's idea or a back and forth thing until everyone agreed on it? Yes. No, it was, it was, uh, they asked me to, to do a, a design. Um, and it, it went back and forth a few times with DC, and, um, and, uh, and it was it was actually really kind of exciting to be able to you know design Superman suit. Um, you know, wanted it to have a a familiar, trustworthy feel initially, and you know up front, but also to give it kind of a new, updated look that uh, didn't dis distract too much and that would embody this new Superman. Was there anything DC said the suit could or couldn't have? No trunks. <laughs> I don't know. That's what they told me. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> will, we, uh, will we see how Superman got his new costume and why, or has this been revised to the costume he's always had? We're not addressing it at this point. Right. We're sort of, you know, there's... It, just, it almost feels like we moved past that. We're just we're into story and character now, so the suit is there. So right. we're not going to really sort of burn any real estate page-wise to, to get into it. All right. Uh, how much collaboration do you generally have between your book and Action Comics, as far as letting the other team know what you're doing or what you want to do? Um, I mean, that's the editor's job, Eddie Braganza and Andrew Marino, mm -hmm. and their their job is to traffic everything and and let us know what everybody's doing and every, you know so everybody also knows what we're doing and uh, just keep everything all the plates in the air and just make sure the communication lines are open. Awesome. How do you approach this Superman differently as a character not just uh, not just a difference in family than the new 52 Superman? Um, well having written the new 52 Superman um, it's really just that he was a younger more sort of um, just a man, an impulsive, knee-jerk Superman who really, you know, he hadn't learned from experience yet. He was really just, something's there. He was really just getting into the mix of things without thinking about all the angles. Where, you know, our Superman right now, he can, you know, he sees the big picture quicker and easier. He understands how to get in and out of situations easier. So he's, he's, he's more mature, which is obviously, no matter how you cut it, always makes a difference in the way you approach a situation. With the art, was there a concentrated effort to draw Superman differently in the face, in the posture, etc.? Differently than... Differently than like the new 52 one. Oh, uh, yeah, I think, again, he, this is a more mature version of him. Uh, it's, it's more you know, in the classic vein of what he looks like. Uh, and, and, and again, for me when I'm drawing uh, characters, it, a lot of it just comes down to their body language. Um, and so the difference between you know Superman and Clark is is obviously important, depending on you know if he's in the suit or not. So when he's Clark, he's a little more slouchy, but he's still a big guy, and uh, you know, and, and it's also important to have uh, kind of a a feeling of, of again the trustworthiness of, of him, you know, something in the eye. Um, the, he smiles, you know, he smiles. He's charming, you know. I try and bring that through in the art. Um, Doug Mankey's doing the art too. And Jorge Amez, and they, you know, we're all kind of on the same page, we're all linked up. You know, that this is the Superman's, uh, how he carries himself. Uh, it's very reassuring, you know. Uh, what are your thoughts on the trend among some writers that the only way for a character to grow is for them to be grief stricken? Completely unnecessary. I mean, it's it's just one of those things where sometimes a story will dictate, obviously, where a character needs to go. But any, be it Superman right now, I mean, Superman's not grief stricken. He's he's got a family. He's got a loving family around him. He is in, in a place he loves with people that he loves all around him. So he's he doesn't need grief. To, he just right. Yeah, he doesn't need grief. It's, to be and it's it's hard. It's really hard to do that because there's. That is the model for a lot of other characters, and especially in Batman and Robin. That was there was a lot of tragedy and things mixed in with the with the background. And so you would think having a having a, a tight family unit would be an easy thing to do, but it, it isn't. It's 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 and make it believable and, and, and meaningful, you know. But they really are this this unit. They really are a team. Lois is part of it. Clark is a part of it, you know, and John, and they're, they're an island. The world around them, that's where the grief is. That's the chaos, and they're trying to hold it together, and, and that's where I think, that's where the, the tension comes. Like, can they stay together? Can they hold it together? Can they, can they not be, uh, you know, washed over by, by the, 
the bigness of the world around us. Final question, is there anything you can or would like to say to the readers uh, that may have been turned off by the new 52 that might make them want to take another look and jump on to Superman? Well, this was, this Superman was, we, we started off saying that Superman should be for everybody. And, um, we wanted to have a Superman that was, that brought back that feeling of hopefulness. Um, again, he's trustworthy, he's inspiring. Um, he's not necessarily, you know, he's not Batman. You know, he's, he's different. He's, he's, he is Superman. And to really lock in on what that means, uh, to be Superman. And so, we have people that, that, that are happy to see you know, there's Superman is back and things like that. But then I also have people that are saying, I've never read Superman before and I love it and we're really excited, you know, to, to see where this goes. And that's a great feeling. It's a great feeling. It's wonderful. Well thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome.